Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to give you an updated 2019 tour of our DIY camper plus show you exactly what we did to this camper to renovate it from start to finish. Absolutely the most asked about DIY project here on my channel and on my blog as well is this one, our DIY camper, which we renovated a couple years ago. I've shared quite a few videos, I will link them all below in our DIY camper playlist here on YouTube, but I wanted to put together a video that showed the entire process of how we renovated our camper from start to finish because there's always so many questions on the timeline of things, exactly what we did and how it all worked together. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I'm gonna share everything from where we found our camper to how much we paid for it, exactly the step-by-step -step process we did for painting all of the cupboards, how everything is holding up today, let's get started. So here is our camper this year, 2019. I've styled it with some black and white farmhouse check as well as a DIY floral pillow. I love styling this space, you guys probably already know that, but if you want to see it in action as we are camping with our muddy, dirty feet and everything, I will leave a couple videos down in that description box below where you can see how we use this while we're camping. We do keep all the cushions in here. However, of course, I don't have the table styled quite as nicely when we're camping. We do mostly eat outside anyhow, so you can have a look at that. Again, I'll link to those in the description box below. So please note that I'm a self-taught DIYer and not a trained professional, so this step-by-step -step guide is based on my experience only. However, if you love to do things yourself just like me, I think you'll find these steps on how to renovate an RV effective. Step one is find an old camper for sale and assess it. There are lots of old RVs for sale on buy and sell sites like Facebook and Kijiji and Craigslist. I often see them alongside of the road too. We were lucky and found ours for only $1,000 Canadian, but even spending a few thousand on an old camper can be worth it if the camper is in decent shape. It's still much less than a new RV. When looking for a used RV, check for things like water damage, which is common, mechanical issues, electrical issues, and structural issues. Most other things can be repaired easily, like the upholstery and the finishes. Step number two is make any necessary repairs. Before working on the more fun things like painting and reupholstering, make any repairs to the structure or mechanics of your camper. We had to completely rip the whole back wall of our fifth wheel and replace it because of water damage and there was a little bit of water damage in the front as well. Thankfully, my husband is really good at this sort of thing. Step number three is rip it all out. Remove anything from the camper that you want to replace like old window treatments, carpet, linoleum, blinds, fabric panels, etc. Don't attack your couch or dinette cushions just yet. You can fix those later. I will share how to do that. I removed all the old soft furnishings and carpet from our camper because I wanted fresh, easy to clean finishes. Step number four is prime and paint the walls and cabinets. This will be the most time consuming step of your renovation, but I think it makes the biggest difference. Remove all the cabinet doors in your RV and then prime all the walls, ceiling, cabinet, and cabinet doors. I sounded everything first with liquid sandpaper, used Kills oil-based primer, and finished with some leftover latex paint. I painted the camper fridge the same way. You can also seal the cabinets with a varathane sealant to prolong the life of the paint. For an inexpensive update, you can also spray paint the hinges and the pulls if you want of your cabinets. In the bathroom, you can use a paint especially formulated for painting over old bathroom fixtures to resurface your tub, toilet, and sink if required. If you're curious as to the particular products I use in our camper renovation, I'm going to leave a list of absolutely everything down in that description box below, so make sure to click on that if you're interested. Step number five is add decorative surface treatments like wallpaper, contact paper, and peel and stick tile. 
To give your RV some personality, you can add wallpaper or peel and stick tile to accent walls and the kitchen wall in your camper. I found a dehumidifier to be essential when applying things like wallpaper so that everything dried nicely. It's also important to prime any walls you want to add paper or vinyl to. Consider covering an old kitchen counter with marble contact paper like we did. I love how our counter has held up, honestly. You can also replace any fabric panels in the cupboards with something more modern and durable like a decorative tin panels. I spray painted and cut some to suit our style. We completely replaced our dinette table with an IKEA desktop and used the hardware from the old table. Step number six is install new hardware, lighting, and window treatments. If you don't want to paint the old ones, new cupboard poles can make a huge difference in the look of your RV. Buying hardware that fits the old holes of your cupboards makes it a really easy swap. You can use regular light fixtures in your camper if you want to make a statement chandelier. Just use light bulbs that are especially for RVs and those are the 12 volt kind. We used a pendant light and shortened it for over our dinette. Amazon has modern looking LED RV lights for a great price, I will link those below. And for window treatments, consider installing simple blackout blinds that will help every, everybody sleep a little bit better. We found ours at Ikea. Step number seven is recover or slip cover soft furnishings. If the foam in your sofa and dinette is still good, you can recover or slip cover them. I've shared complete tutorials on how to do this here on my channel, and I will link those down in the description box below. So I have one to recover the dinette seats, and I also have one to make a slip cover for a jackknife sofa like ours. Make sure to replace any foam that is destroyed and replace any old mattresses. Step number eight, install new flooring. Consider installing vinyl plank as flooring for your RV. It's inexpensive, light and durable, and it is so easy to install once you get the hang of it. You can lay it over old vinyl and you can use a ruler and a craft knife to cut it. We absolutely love how ours looks, feels, and wears. And finally, step number nine, add the final touches. Now is the extra fun part, adding the final accessories to make your RV both functional and beautiful. Add hooks and bars to the walls for added storage. I use wood screws to attach them. Add hooks to the bottom of your cupboards for storage or decorative items. Attach art to the wall with wood screws or command photo hanging strips. Make DIY pillow covers in your favorite colors to make your little home feel bright and cozy. And find durable melamine or metal dishware that you can store in your camper for your first trip. Give yourself more time than you think to complete the renovation of your camper. It's a lot of work, but you'll be so proud when you're done. We've loved using our renovated camper and I know you will love yours too. Here are a couple things that I had to update in our camper. 
The first thing is I did paint over the mirrors of our cupboards and that started to flake off so I just made some decorative panels to put over the mirrors and I think later I'll just scrape the paint of the mirrors right off. Then the only other thing that hasn't worn as nicely is right around the sink in our bathroom. That paint is starting to, sh to chip, so I think I'm going to eventually scrape that off as well and use a different sort of paint for the tops of our counters in our bathroom. Other than that, everything else is doing very well in our camper, and I would recommend all of the, all of the steps that we've done to renovate our camper to how it is now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you're interested in updating a camper or a fifth wheel or an RV, let me know in the comments below what you think of our DIY camper. And I'd also love to hear if you have any other questions that I haven't covered here. I would love to answer them for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY decor and lifestyle videos on a budget. And I'll see you guys all again in my next video. Bye.